What's up? AJ here again from the EA Sports Live team, and I am going to help you out with the new right stick controls in NCAA Football 11. Learn to master the new controls in the locomotion system, and you'll be breaking some ankles in no time on the virtual gridiron. I recommend getting into practice mode first to get a handle on the new right stick moves. I'm going to keep it real here and select my mean green. I've also set it to offense only so I can show you what all the stick motions do in the game without the hassle of tacklers. Previously, pushing right or left on the right stick would just make your player make sharp jumps to either side, but now it allows you to make smaller, quick jukes like so. As with any of the right stick moves, you can string them together without getting stuck in one animation. This allows for some really nice combo jukes. Pushing up on the right stick is used to duck down and prep for a head-on hit while also covering up the ball to protect against the fumble. Be careful though, because if you continue to hold forward, your player will lose his balance and fall over unless you compensate by releasing the right stick. Previously, pushing back on the right stick would make your player do a quick stop to try and miss a tackle. Now pushing back on the right stick will cause the runner to arch his back like so in hopes of breaking free of a tackle from behind. Have no fear though, the stop move is still in the game. If you want to pull it off, just flick back on the left stick like so. You can also use the right stick to prepare your player for an oncoming tackle by pushing it to the upper left or right corner. This can help you protect the ball and possibly get a few extra yards. As you can see, he twists and keeps the ball away from the defender. To perform a spin move in this year's game, you can now just rotate the right stick clockwise or counterclockwise. You can also rotate it from one side down and around to the other, left down to right to spin right, and right down to left to spin left. That does like a juke into a spin for a nice little combo. You can still use the B button to make a spin move just like old times, but using the right stick to spin will allow you to more easily string jukes and spins together. I hope these tips help. If there are any tips or tricks videos you'd like to see in the future, please leave us a comment below. Till next time, I'm AJ. Later gamers.